Ah, uh, hello everybody. This is Merle, your host of Malt Shop Radio. Um, this is a little video series I'm doing about living in a little old small farmhouse in Boulder Creek, California. Today is February 17th, 2017. Um, so, it's raining outside. It's been pouring for weeks. There's been floods, landslides, uh, washouts. Um, there's basically no way, way out of the local area without some kind of obstruction. Um, and uh, part of the deal is, is this is the Santa Cruz Mountains. It's filled with redwood trees and pine trees and all sorts of stuff. And um, uh, uh, there's a lot of work to be done every time it dries out. You got work to do. I live on a little bit about less than half an acre of uh, flat land in the mountains. That's pretty neat for me, but it's a lot of work. Um, I also have some trees. Uh, I have some redwood trees, not touching those. Those, uh, they're hundreds of years old. They're staying where they, they are. I also have some cherry plum trees, which are just absolutely loathsome. I uh, hate those things. They make such a mess, and they're growing along a fence pouring the cherry plums into the neighbor's yard, and I get all sorts of annoyances out of that. Though I do make some really good chocolate-covered vodka-soaked cherry plums. I'll try that once a year. Probably won't be doing that anymore because of all this fun stuff that's going on. I had to get myself one of these. dun da da, -da. It's show-off time. This is the Husqvarna... Um, uh, which axe is it? It's the Hus Husqvarna uh, Carpenter's Axe. And um, it uh, got it online for about 60 bucks at Amazon. I needed something that was real nice that would do the work. Uh, I had been using my grandpa's old axe, a big old felling axe that, frankly, it I love the thing, but it's not that good. Um, this is, it's made for Husqvarna in Sweden, so it's all Swedish steel. It's handmade, and that is pretty slick. Um, for, the, uh, for the price range, you just cannot do any better, as far as I know. So let's take a look at it. Um, it's 20 inches from here to here, about 20 and a quarter inches uh, in total. Um, it says 19 inches but uh, uh, on the website, but it's a little longer. Makes it real good for felling small trees, for splitting kindling. Uh, it even has a nice beard, so you can get up on it when you're doing all sorts of fine work. Now, this is a carpenter's axe, so it does not have a very curved edge. It's, uh, it's relatively slight. Got a slight curve there. The profile is really good nice and slick with a nice bulge out for splitting um i don't need to do any reprofiling of the head itself in general though it does need to be it's it's actually pretty darn sharp it's just a little too sharp on one edge that's going to have to be worked a little bit to make it shaving sharp um Nice, and the fit is really pretty good. Um, it's a little bashed in here. Uh, that happens. I would have bashed it in had I done it. I'm not a pro by any means. Got a nice wedge, got a nice circle wedge there to make sure it's nice and tight. It's fit snugly all the way around and uh, pretty well. On the other side too, it's got a little bit of little bit of gap here, but it's not very bad. Uh, all things said, at the price point, aces. The handle has a real nice profile. I love the curve there. Love that grip at the end here, and it is made out of hickory. I think this was probably fit here in America uh, by Husqvarna itself. Unsure. Um, it was not completely finished, though. You've still got some curls from from uh, the fitting of the head and splinters, nice little soft splinters. Uh, I'll probably take a draw knife down to that or 
even better just my uh, my uh, uh, bushcraft knife and shave it down a little bit, sand it up a little bit, and then uh, put some linseed oil, something nice to make it pretty good. Let's see. Oh yes, the grain. The grain it's per it, it's pretty straight. You really can't get better. I've seen more expensive axes, a lot more expensive axes with a worse grain orientation. In any case, that is the oops, wrong direction. The Husqvarna Carpenter's Axe. Um, stay tuned. I shall return some other time with something else fun. Maybe my bush knife, maybe some new toy or tool. Uh, maybe uh, invite my witter on uh, so that she can complain about me. Um, God bless. Keep safe. Creo quita absurdum. <laughs>